I can't believe you are gone. Oh, I was shocked and sad when I heard the news. Oh no, I can't believe you are gone. Honorable Adedayo. Isaac Omolafe, popularly known as Expensive, was an enigma and a great man. Born on the 18th of April, 1964 in Akure and rose from grass to graze, but his life was cut short by the cold hands of death on the 16th of August, 2021. It was a dark Monday. news filtered into a correct kingdom and that brought virtually everything to a standstill for a moment over the loss of an illustrious son of the kingdom an akure born philanthropist businessman and politician who toiled for the development of his people irrespective of their political and social status all through his sojourn on earth honorable adedayo isaac omolafe was a nigerian legislator of the nigerian national assembly in the green chair chambers he represented akure north south federal constituency but was known more among his constituents as a philanthropist an easygoing man a man of few words and a down-to-earth man whose lifestyle of living was just about living for the people to make life easier for all. He was the staunch member of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and was also known by his people as a problem solver and a dedicated citizen of his country home. The executive governor of Undo State, Arakuni Rotimi or Dwayo Akiridulu, among other prominent Nigerians, was among the early callers at his residence to pay his condolence visit. Oh, I was shocked and sad when I heard the news. Let me express my personal condolences to the press also the state continent on this most unfortunate Rude and shocking news of the demise of the fancy. That's what we always be calling now. The new chairman on Dusted Council of Obers, the Deji of Akure, His Imperial Majesty, Kabiesi Alade Lusi, Ogunlade Alade Toibo, or Dundun II, was short of words on the loss of one of his great sons of the land. Uh, Atojo Toti Shele, you're like a, a cloud on this town. Uh, we we lost a promising son, very promising. Uh, we, uh, Atari Ajanaku, that's the Uluomo, everything, uh, uh, our country attributed to him. We, he was so passionate about this town, even the youth, the elderly, the sick. Took care of everybody. Everybody. To the tone of going to bank and get a loan to take care of others. That's how it was. So we lost. Uh, if we continue to talk about uh, our honorable Adidayo Omolafe, uh, 
the, it will be a sad, uh, very, very sad story. We proceeded that expensive would be immortalized. But we will do our best to mortalize him. We will do something for him so that we will keep on remembering him every year because he has done so great for this town. We, we love him, we love his family, whatever help that the family might need from Akure people, even from the palace, because he was very passionate about this palace, a very good friend of the palace, a very good friend, I, you know, I, I'm more than him, but he's a friend, he was a friend, he was a friend, very close to the palace. So we, whatever, in any way that Akure will help the family, we will do so without no hesitation. Honorable Binga Olanyi, he also added that such a great man should be immortalized. Try as much as possible to immortalize his name such that uh, the generation yet unborn will hear about this uh, great politician that uh, he lived, he saw, and he conquered. Last year, when we have coronavirus, there was lockdown. Shops, market, nobody could come out. But we lost one of our greatest sons during his barrier that we can close all shops, all markets in Akure domain for just one day. No, we are going to do it. We are going to do it. There is nothing. No, for one day, we are going. To, every every house will be shut down that day. Tori akombogi la kure, onu amani de la de la kure, esugi di kancheli la kure, ke ane da yo ke tosi espe or or espe jali or jako ijo kamba te te si espe lo di kure e si bi kanga kanga ti ano jali jote ka ke to jako le jano or di si se. His political ideology and openness made him a pillar of sort in his political party and a point of reference in years to come for his unflinching political style that grants unfettered access to his home and his office for all the positions he occupied while he was alive, as highlighted by the state and local government chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in Ondo State. Late Honorable Adedayo Isaac Omolafe, popularly known as expensive. It's a man that all of us will miss so greatly because in the politics of uh, Ondo State, in the politics of uh, Akure Kingdom, and in the politics of our party, Omolafe Adidayo has really demonstrated and play the role of great leader. He demonstrated himself and proved himself as a great ambassador, a philanthropist, grassroots politician, a mobilizer, a share giver, and an epitome of humility. He contributed to this great party, PDP, immensely starting from when he served as a chairman of council, a lot of people in this Akure kingdom were in PDP because of expensive. Because when he served as chairman of Akure South, he played the role of a small governor in Akure kingdom. Expensive, that is what I did one party, PDP. To see on my party, PDP. To to the fair, or not the fair one. They could sing on the in the party or PDP. Me, I could let him away. Tamaso, you do me. Money conscious gone on that thousand. No visa with you in your expensive fashion, ninety thousand. So go see or more party. 
to sele to dasi honorable olubumi ademosu special advisor to the state governor on public and intergovernmental matters spoke glowingly about this grassroots politician despite their political party differences and his impact on akure kingdom within his short stay on earth describing his effort as expensive just like his nickname his death came in as a shock rude one his death came in at a time that i felt forget that we are not in same political party but when you talk of a grass rooter when you talk of somebody who was not there to deceive the people when you talk of somebody who wanted to labor for the people regardless of his shortcomings we all have our shortcomings a very jolly fellow a good brother a lover of our current a man with few words but much of the words are in action but when it comes to talking no expensive is not that talker but is a is a go get an action man a man that believes we should eradicate poverty from our people in akure he came he saw and he conquered it's not how long you live in life but is a man that had an impact in the life of the young the youth the elderly and even the tradition the traditional stool of akure is a man that you would see everybody living in akure be you an indigene be you a visitor is a man that you see everybody love passionately why he will give anything i mean anything to get an akure youth an elderly in akure to a point of relief expensive and honestly is expensive because when you say something is expensive it's not everybody that buys it on the shelf but in his own word expensive i would take it to be i pray we find another replacement is expensive he has left a vacuum it's such a good friend that i don't think i can come 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 across any body like that in the course of my life he has done great thing for me for my family for all of us he has done a lot in terms of service to humanity he, he has extra he did many things in, in 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 extra form like i call double portion except we we will miss you we will miss you so dearly we were there for everybody we were there for each and every person that you were able to relate with there was no political barrier in your aggressive philanthropic nature we love our great people ko fe mo ojo ti a ti arira nbi last ni ile ibai awon boy se kan si wa don wa don ni eh jo election eh awon ko apc ba oni stop kin soro gbogbo apc gbogbo yan lodi bo fun lonjo ebo a soro ilu generally te ba fe ni diran lowo e wa e biran lowo e ma so pe enikan se gbe enikan sawo so gbogbo yan lo ku mora by the time we are in the council together as i've really said there's pdp ad and app in any political setting when your party won is only your party member that will be coming to the council or will coming to the ministry or whatever are, uh, you are giving appointment it's only your party member they will give uh, assessments to to come and ask for anything the department they give him appointment to that's s, s section it's corridor of all political party one thing about expensive is that is political uh, tentacle cut across all uh, political groupings he's not a limited person he plays i mean it's he embraces everybody whether you are pdp whether you are sdp or you are apc is there 
he embraced everybody. Either you are a party A, either you are a party B, either you are APC or PDP or AA, or he embraced everybody. If you come to him for any assistant, he's going to render the assistant. He do a lot of things for people. He's a man of the people. God was saying, she, oh, God, you are that. Oh, God, you are that. Larry, I want you. Larry, I want you to Larry, I want you to do. Oh, she, you don't say, you don't say, you don't say, Hey, boy, PDP is a party, is a PDP member, but auto stage gone. I was a party, I was a PDP. I don't want to take me. I want to be. I want other party. Want to buy what I like. I want to go to Madu. Time we, time we, time we. So you can take me. Want to, so my own energy. I to take me. Go to for you. I need to move. So go, oh, bala, oh, go, set to bashi. This man of the people became a benchmark for performance measurement and a reference point in the political space of his community. He served as a councillor representing Ward 2, Ijomu Obala Akure South local government in 1996, later became the vice chairman of his local government in year 2000. He was made a supervisory councillor for health in Akure South local government. In 2003, he was made the Katakot Chairman of Akure South Local Government and later served as a two-term Executive Chairman of Akure South Local Government and was also the Algon Chairman in Onda State. His then Lieutenant, Honorable Elder Smart Alabao Luye, who happens to be his Deputy Chairman, Akure South Local Government, has this to say about Adedayo Omolafe. When he served as the first time that time, then the second time he wanted to serve and I indicated as somebody who wants to be his deputy. I went to him, he, he said, well, if my word is, I mean, accepts to bring me in uh, my, the, the party. Unfortunately, I won the election to become the vice chairman of uh, Expensive. So we campaigned together. By then he was so loyal, so pleasant. He gave me all the room to campaign, to do all things. And we won that election together. So it was then I knew him. And uh, since we uh, entered that uh, council together, he has been so pleasant. He's very focused. He knows what he's doing. So if there's any problem, he solves it if you fact, without, without, any, uh, without any embarrassment, he solves it and he is very generous to people. Also, the current executive chairman of Akure South local government from the ruling party of the All Progressives Congress, Honorable Binga Olani, recounted the immense positive contributions of expensive while he was on the same seat he now occupies. Uh, Honorable Omalafe, popularly known as expensive, his death is a colossal loss to Akure community. He's a man of a great virtue, a great politician indeed. We're going to miss him for a very long time. And uh, he has left his shoe that I believe is going to be very difficult for anybody to occupy. Because in terms of achievement during his era, he was able to achieve a lot of things for Akure community. The two biggest uh, shopping complex we have in Akure now, one at Okijebu, and the other one at Ondo Road. He built it. The uh, Oja, Oba, the Erekeson Market. It was built during his era. First of all, what we banked on was the road project at Apomu. The road project from Akure here to Apomu go there. He opened up so many roads. Even the secretariats that were currently occupying the foundation and the, was laid down in his own time and he built it. So a lot of achievement during his era. I was going to talk about the copper lodge that he built. So many, even the Oja, Oja showed the road that he opened up to reduce the road uh, congestions, traffic congestions along the Oja Oshodi, Obasis. So to me, he's a great achiever within that shortest period that uh, he was a chairman in the local government. He was announced as the Ondo State Coordinator of the Subsidy Reinvestment Program during the Good Luck Jonathan's administration and performed creditably well with a lot of empowerment for the people. 
And when he was the state coordinator for Shuo P, he used it to mobilize greatly for PDP. He was made the chairman of Indo State Property Development Corporation in 2015 and the general manager of the corporation, represented by the PRO, Mr. Adetokumbo Adekunle Francis, reflected on his relationship with everyone, his contributions and achievements while he was the chairman of the corporation. Honorable Isaac Adedayo Omalafe was quite ebullient. Um, compassionate and he was indeed a friend to every one of us. He really achieved a lot, you know, within the um, distinct the of his uh, stay here because it wasn't long. He did some projects here. He completed the uh, Ijapo market, uh, the multi-purpose uh, market there at Japo. He was the one that completed it, although it was uh, um, the former chairman, uh, Dr. Lou Kree, that started it, but it was Keleta. He was the one that completed it. He also constructed uh, a gate here, uh, which is intermediary between the, uh, the second gate here. So even if you are going, you will see it there. Uh, you know, he did a lot of things here. He also uh, upgraded the corporation's uh, legacy house at Ijapo Estate. So he, he did quite well during his period here. And when he was uh, in the housing corporation, a lot of people in Undo State today give credit to him for them to have houses in the government land today because he really proved himself that he belonged to everybody. As a result of his liberal political ideology that accommodates other people from all works of life and political parties, a legal practitioner and politician, Prince Adimola Adegore, said expensive has left his footprint as a benchmark in the political space of Undoste. No doubt in my mind that um, um, expensive, that's the name we used to call him, left his footprints on the sands of time. When I came back to Akure in 1997 to participate in politics, I met him. We belonged to the same party. At that time, it used to be called the Democratic Party of Nigeria, DPN. It was in the Abacha days. And then subsequently, when that transition came to a halt, we also joined the Alliance for Democracy, and we both were members of that same party. And so I've been interacting with him very, very closely until um, God called him home very closely. Um, there's no doubt in my mind that um, Expensive did wonderfully well for himself and for the people, particularly in Akure here. He did so well. He was kind. He was humane. He was very considerate. He was extremely generous to people. He was full of life. Expensive was a very kind man. And so his death shook not just Akure, the entire state, you know, to its very foundation. Um, it's most unfortunate. We feel terrible. We miss him and we will miss him. We will miss him. We will definitely will miss expensive. Some of whom spoke a Akure dialect, describing expensive as the loss of a pillar of growth in Akure Kingdom. <laughs> ke fakurele so e de si ninu iwa ninu ise e si ke da ke mu da sakure e kon ramo yo e de sun ke lo expensive ke expensive yo fun yo 
but to or me go cook money, mossy, expensive way, poro, expensive battle for poor bound, la go con, a go con luaba, expensive food tony, not look at a babo, go to show you, expensive food poro. One of his great community leaders, Prince Ademi Adebisi, aka BC Gold spoke about the attributes of expensive with a call on the young minds of the land to emulate Honorable Adedayo, Isaac Omolafe. Very, very unfortunate. Uh, Honorable uh, Adedayo Omolafe, when he was in secondary school, I was already the marketing manager of Sona Beauty. I was involved in his education. He's so close to me. He's been so close and good to the town. And all our developmental efforts, he has been part of it. It's unfortunate that we have lost him, but who are we to query God? But whatever he has done is what we'll be paying for him. His life should be an inspiration to the youth coming. Nothing comes to anybody easy. If, if every youth that want to be like him, they should work hard and show their commitment to the development of this town. Isaac Omolafe Expensive was referred to as a philanthropist and a one of its kind for his core values, programs and ideas, which was geared towards community empowerment during his short term at the National Assembly. Little wonder he was made the Vice Chairman House Committee on Poverty Alleviation as this was in his DNA already over the years to help the downtrodden. Honorable Isaac Adida Yomolafe is a free born of Akure, a son of the soil. He's one out of 1,000. He's a politician, he's a philanthropist, and then he's one of his kind in our generation. Of this moment, before I can aggregate a person as a philanthropist, as a life torture, to me as a person, I will try as much as possible to look deep in that is this person pretending, or that is how God created him, or is it his lifestyle? So I see all these three basic things are crude to expensive. His legislative aides and followers from his Obala community and one of the hundreds of the people employed by Expensive, who is today the chairman of Norge at their Chris House local government community, they all have this to say about him. He was a very good man. A man who had interest of people at heart. He was always compassionate and passionate on how to assist people. Especially the down children. Oh, school, mommy. See, do you feel you? Notice, oh, school, mommy. Oh, what's up, mommy? See, do you feel you? Notice, oh, what's up, mommy? So, what boy, I do, what boy, we say, I me, especially over me, me. So, I told mommy, I tell you, 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 I tell Go and borrow him in order to satisfy his people. He, he has done well during his church stay in this world. I missed him. I will come to miss him because I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I can have a friend like him again. She I want to buy the champagne. I want to follow all the Joshua. I want to follow all the Joshua. I want to solve school. I have a lot of things. I to get money back. We employ him. He weighed me before I become the chairman of Norge. He employed almost 130 people to this uh, local government. That was a day I could remember then when he was the chairman of a uh, local government here. He called the Norge. He called the Norge. He said he wants to make an office for Norge. A special office, a good Nogue hall, cutting hall, office for Nogue, is a man of people. You attend to all the issues that are affecting you. Maybe school fees, you are looking for your students' school fees. Maybe you are, rent, you are looking for a rent appointment. Maybe you want to start a business, whatsoever. It's what I can vividly uh, testify to. Olo jo anuni, ele jo anuni, eni ti olon e dala ti orunwa. Because to why, why they are watching here? But he must also rent an apartment. Longbe, 
is living in a relations in a relations house at Obaladia. Koti kole, koti lo to fin rent ile, ogbele ebi ni. To se kokon e. So oya oya ki mo pe inu eje aton wa lo ti yan wa. E ton fi tara sile to n gbo to lori ni. These are friends I'm talking about. They have moved to ACN. And then they want to go to law school. One of them is the person council chairman, uh, vice chairman of our Kwesalu government. Vice chairman of the council now, honorable barrister Stephen Abitogu. He came to me. One year he came to me. 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 Blood of giving as up as opposition to him, then he won't do it. I follow him to his, his office at the office. Bye bye bye. Only she and the one she can see. Only go and write letter of request within 45 minutes. This thing has been done. Only the money has to be given to him. Only to be perfect. Only by tomorrow to be perfect. Let him go and use the money to do what he wants to do before it's too late. Likewise, by Mr. Taiwo Kaode, uh, was a counselor then. He did it for two of them, which elevates their future up to today. His political sagacity and quest for the betterment of his people, especially the youths of Akure Kingdom and their development, was second to none as Akure youth leader Oluri Odo, comrade Adekombi Oluatui, describes Omolafe as a thing god. It will be super furious for anybody in Akure here uh, to really say he or she has not felt the impact of Adedayo. Adedayo to most people in Akure community is a thing God. He's a man that rises to the responsibility of many people irrespective of what is going to cost him, irrespective of what that person's background is, the party or the affiliation he has for anybody. He gives support to destitute without considering consequence to himself. So I see him to be a thing God. He's a real gem. His life hardly come once in 100 years. Chairman of the Burial Committee, Michael Oshodi, prayed for the repose of his soul. Um, Dio was a very responsible, committed, loving, and uh, a kind brother and um, politician that uh, this community has ever produced. It was one of the most terrible news that I received that um, Monday around 1 a.m. It was talking, devastating and unexpected. I was not thinking of death for him. And uh, it was really sad that we lost him when we require his service most. We are from the same street, the same quarter. We grew up together regardless of our differences. And my personal encounter with him since our childhood days to the time of uh, his demise was very exciting. Ready to help, very accommodating, and well disposed to helping people. So I, I would surely miss him. It was a terrible loss to me and my immediate family because we are close. Ukure, Former Ondo State Chairperson of the Nigeria Labour Congress, Comrade Bosede Daramola, spoke of his impeccable character as a rallying point for all and sundry in a great dialect. On a on a be rally point in everybody. Easy going person. E ba neja. Ili nisha. Ezo ke lora ke yomukoni. Eh, bonne. Cart for ya, lay ya. Eh, banning she a meji. Oh, she look, eh, she. Oh, she look, terrace of a bow, 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 lesser. Oh, she look, can you, can you, you come, say, yes, this is a political leader. 
ke eto ni un buruku ojo buruku le ro la kore le jo expensive ku tori la yo gbadu a so lo me mo ka o te ke le mere dola ko olohun yo de ba muru re mirin ko yo mu dipo re la kore because he has created a vacuum that might not likely be easy to fill in this town o pe la re mo okunrin akore e se na sade pe la re mo okunrin ule re e le ule re le kokoro aya re a le mi ori kokoro ka mu ti gate o ko rin titi ti e anti o mi jokun ti re kokoro be mo mo em e a sha mi kokoro a ti gate sugbon ule re tori ule le ro ni wa de be ati gambari ata usa ati yoruba ati gbo ke ti ele ade da yo ko mora wa je o oni ke yere ku aya ke le mere baba un la siku oni ko ya kan le un la ba kan oni ka yare bi mo lost bitu un la san o a ri food a gba form very accessible we si bi kan te ba soro o o lo se number 1 ko e lo lititi ku oduro ko fo espe ibi ka ti joko o na le espe te da o lo honorable adedayo isaac omolafe expensive never left his obala community as he sits at the same spot daily each time he was in town ko le wa la kure lojo kan ko ma da dugo e de nigbati o ti kuro la dugo e gan ajo ma wa po after immediately after to ba ti ti bi se de wa together plain together exactly a month wa together here discussing exactly a month today he sat there i was here he doesn't seek the dead is very sudden and right opposite that spot where he sits to attend to the needs of his friends constituents associates and people of his immediate community he constructed a water project to solve the water problem around that area in kan to se le lojo on so pe kin so mo bala nikan lo se kan fun because kin se on bala nikan lo mo e the second day the old market was logged to ba jo bala nikan bala nikan na ti teach up na gbogbo akure lo se kan fun omo akure gidi ni to de en ri ti ilu iro in just of recent on lo se show me mi to wa nbi o se mi ni february nigba ti awon eyan adugbo o ton wa o mekire igba en lo fi show mi me mo boye osu re yoku tori me eh un ko ya lara laye ati a se kero eh pe gbo on kan se o sha ipo bi o yun fe lo gbo ori transfer ade pe 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 kan ba ti be lo re un be ni me wa un be ni me wa eh pe account number adugbo un loan do road me mi jo ko na te bridge ke lebe era adugbo un me ti on ti si bridge se be ri e jo ko ya kibo gate la adugbo un e je un ko ri ke be ti ri le ba da so na o se bridge so na ke ra adugbo un mo fo le su ya kini libe cha la ti fo le ya se campaign ke de se bridge ba that is expensive for you elder statesman chief olufalai and former secretary to the government of the federation has this to say about the death of an illustrious son of akure kingdom that was a very painful episode you know i, I saw him yeah, about a week or 10 days before his death at the birthday party we had for the issue of akure he was beaming with smile as always uh, very congenial and very helpful young young man uh, it was a very sad loss uh, you know the uh, cat name is expensive uh, everybody called called him expensive uh, that we lost him was most unfortunate and the gap he has left will be very difficult to fill may his soul rest in peace honorable ade dial isaac omolafe for the great things he has done in akure kingdom to better the lots of his people many are of the opinion that knowing fully well that the wife is equal to the task of completing his tenure at the national assembly that his dear wife mrs tai omolafe be fielded to complete his tenure still representing the good people of akure south and north constituency of undo state without missing the words kali pe awon meti dagba to like 30 35 even the two political party ko kan pe won ba contest ye 
because if put your spare hold the politics of those states, we could just rep. In case especially, I go to government to tell you, I go to Kuni Dwe, to Mbaya, to Mbaya, to Mbaya, to Mbaya, to me, in that respect, could you come from Kwame Ji to pay? Come from your own ticket, you could complete ten way. To buy a phone, we should go. Can be. If we could just pay, ah, my boy, you come where you go to only. But if we get there, you go where? Do you really say shall I? Where? So I'm fighting back so quick. Confident, I will not be. I will not be. I will not be. Continue. What's the cost of the room? I want a beer. Do you want to call? Funiko, you can dash you. But look, party the remaining time to cook. The position of the party. That one will be discussed after the burial. His dear wife, Taye Omolafe, in an emotional laden voice and tears, spoke about her dear husband in this manner. It's not that I receive it. I witness the whole thing. It happens in my presence, which I don't even believe he was going to die. Just as a joke, as a joke, just like that. It's not a thing that somebody just came and broke a news to me. I saw it all. Nobody expected it that it's going to happen just like that. But we believe that God give it and he take it. That's all what I know. Very lovely, very caring to everybody. No sentiment in everything that he does. Everything randomly to everybody. To everybody. I can, even I cannot query his, his authority. I'm always happy with what he did. Everybody he treated us equally. That come across him. I am only giving so a bad job. From that time, I can't even see you talk to me. I am only giving a bad job, a bad job, a bad job. I am only giving a bad job, a bad job. I am only giving a bad job, a bad job. I am only giving a bad job, a bad job. I am only giving a bad job, a bad job. I am only giving a bad job, a bad job. I am only giving a bad job, a bad job. His look-alike daughter, Modupe Omolafe, and the last born of the family, Tomiwa Omolafe, shared their moment together with their father as they expressed their optimism that their livelihood and educational pursuit will not be affected negatively by the exit of their dear friend and father. My relationship with my dad, I think to an extent we're actually quite close, considering the fact that most people say I look like my dad, like, a lot. So... That made us close, especially when I was a child. But towards my adulthood, towards my teenage years, we got less close, but then we're still the type to talk almost every day. I just finished my BS education in nursing, and my dad and I had plans to further it, probably a master's in nursing again, but with my dad in mind, I would definitely want to further my master's, master's degree. I'm Miss Lasborn, though. Um, I would say we're like brothers, but then, it was like a real, let me say, my second God, because I believed in him. He mentored me in all ways I could live for. Then, considering the fact that, yes, we almost look alike, I can't walk five steps and people won't ask, let's calm down, I know his child. Then I will be so shy to say yes, because then almost everybody keeps on asking. Then, yeah, that should be it. Mm, shocking because it happened all of a sudden because he, he spoke to me the morning telling me to go and get some water and no then suddenly i noticed his drowsiness because of his headache then i was shocked when they had to carry him but then sooner or later he was taken to the hospital then i thought it would be okay because i was gradually stabilizing then some hours later, I heard the news. Ah, I don't know. I can't say this, but then it was heartbreaking. Yeah, I had plans with him, though. My first plan actually was to study a Greek because of his farms and everything. Then I changed my mind to accounting. Then after that, he said, okay, since you want to choose accounting, then you have to go for ICANN. I said no, but then he kept, he kept pushing me, then showed me the advantages of studying at ICANN, of doing ICANN rather. Then I did, I had to 
go on my research for that. Then I told him about it. Then he said, okay, no problem. Then he paid for it. I won't, um, I won't use the word affect. I would say, because of this, I actually have more interest in furthering now. Though he has passed, but my dad never want me to stop my, my degree in just BS level. So with him in mind, I would definitely want to further. It's a positive effect, actually. I'm in Saudi level right now, but I will push more than I wanted to. Your dreams that I know of, I will continue at this end. And I pray that may your gentle soul continue to rest in perfect peace. But one thing I can assure you, your wife, your children, the best I can do, as you have helped others, I will join the other Akurais to give them a better life. Rest on, brother, till we meet to part soon. Nobody was prepared for this. Nobody expected that we depart and leave this simple world so soon. We will miss you. The Akure crew will miss you. The political class will miss you. God will continue to take care of the people that you left behind your wife, your children, and all those who love you. We pray that God will accept your soul. Honorable Adedayo Isaac Omolafe, a.k.a. Expensive, was an enigma, a philanthropist, a politician, a community leader, with congenial relationship with his family and constituents, which knew no bounds for his great deeds to positively influence the present-day people of the kingdom and the generations yet unborn, deserves to be immortalized for him to be remembered for life. A great man he was, but death is inevitable. Check your life now for tomorrow's view by your own people. May God Almighty continue to bless and abide with his dear wife and children as they shall continue to enjoy the great deeds of this great and honorable man. Sleep on, Honorable Adedayo Isaac Omolafe. Sleep on, expensive. Sleep on, man of the people. Though you have come, you have seen, you have conquered, and you have gone to the world beyond, but your works will continue to speak up. And when I die, I can only.